Hey y'all, coming to you from the uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts World of Wheels, Birmingham 2013. And I've got a uh, 63 split window coupe Corvette that's uh, fully customized, man. It's just one cool ride. So uh, anyways, let me run Gene down and I'll have him uh, tell us a little bit about it. Gene, how are you, brother? I'm doing good, Scotty. How are you this morning? Not too bad. Tell, me, uh, tell me a little bit about this hot ride. 1963 split window coupe that uh, we actually had built by... Jeff Hayes up in Bloomington, Indiana, a car was built and finished by him about two years ago. And since then, we've been doing a number of different uh, modifications and improvements to it. And been out on the World of Wheels circuit here this year and, uh, and enjoying and have a good time. You're doing well on the World of Wheels. We really are. We yeah. really are. We're currently in second place in points in, uh, in the custom category and uh, hope to get a few points this weekend. And our next show after here is actually in New Orleans in the Superdome. So okay. uh, we're, do we're doing good and having fun. Cool. Sure. Where else besides New Orleans will they be able to see the car? Well, we'll be in Lafayette uh, at the Cajun Dome for the finals in April. Uh, but, of course, here this weekend. I mean, right. we'll be here all weekend. We've got uh, three days here in, in Birmingham, which is a great show. Lots of cars, lo a lot of people here. And, uh, Probably the biggest show we've been to so far. Numbers I agree. of cars. Yeah, I agree. As far as an indoor show, this is one of the better ones I've been to. Job. Yeah, we're right. really pleased to be here and pleased to be one of the very front cars here as you come in the show. You're so, right up front. Tell good. me, uh, tell me some of the modifications sure. you've made to the car. Well, this car has been heavily modified. It's got a complete custom chassis. It's an LS3 uh, dash three, which is a cammed LS3. It's five, 500 horsepower. Uh, the car was uh, actually built with the motor. The motor was originally built with the car and motor transmission rear end. And we've done a lot of the chrome and a lot of the stuff underneath to uh, continue to enhance the car. Done some work in, in the interior. We took the interior out, the dash out, and had it modified. It's got a touch screen backup camera, touch screen DVD, all in the, ca in the, in the car. Uh, Classic Instruments made, some, made the gauges for us, and they're the color of the car with some brushed that. aluminum. And, yeah, take a look at that. And uh, oh, what, wow. I, what I call That's the uh, what I call the needles on the gauges are actually they call pointers, and the pointers are the exact same color as the car as the trim on the car. So. Uh, they're pretty cool. We, uh, wow. we think they look good with the car. No, that's beautiful in there. And what seats are you using? These are seats out of a 99 Corvette that were actually cut down and modified. I'm, I'm foot six foot six. A little right. hard to get in a small car like this. So these seats were made for me. We built the bolsters around me. We moved the seats down and and took a little cushioning out of the bottom of the seat and the back of the seat where I'd have a little bit more room and I'd fit the car great. Yeah. yeah. Really I love good. how you position those speakers back there with that metal grate over it. That's yeah. that's a nice stuff. Thank you. That's that's a touch actually done by the builder. Jeff did that when the car was originally built and I, I thought it looked really, really good. I, I yeah. agree. Yeah. Cool. And what chassis are you running? Is this a regular Corvette chassis or our more? No, this is a this is an aftermarket chassis. Uh the uh, it's actually built the chassis was built by American uh Rod Shop, which is uh, Jeff's shop up there. It's a, a Art Morrison front. They don't do a, a rear for a second generation Corvette, so he does the rear part of the chassis. And uh, it, it, it really does really, really well. The car has uh, handles well. So you get out and drive it? A little bit. It's got yeah. 40 whole miles on oh, it. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hard to drive it very much and, and keep it out. Uh, on the circuit and do the things with it that we're doing with it right now. But maybe one of these days we'll get to drive it just a little bit. Well, maybe. after you get we done showing so. it, right? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And you, so you're running an automatic transmission then? It is an automatic. It's, a five, it's the L465E, which is a five-speed automatic transmission uh, that, that uh, really works well with the car. I got tired of shifting. Right, know? sure, sure. So yeah. uh, it's it's this no, was I'm our first with... automatic that we've built, but it, it's worked out really great. No, I like it, the automatics. I mean, they're, anymore, they're, 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 they're faster. To, to shift. That's why all the drag racers use them, right? Yeah, you can see the chassis on some yeah, of the beautiful chassis yeah. modifications under the rear there where the mirror is and it kind of gives you an idea of what the uh, uh, of the complexity of the chassis with the sway bars and all coilovers where we can actually you know a lot of cars have the uh, airbags. We don't have airbags. I'd rather have coilovers. This is actually the stance of the car all the time. It's where it sits. We don't raise it up and lower it. Right. Uh, we can adjust the height for the ride height of the car with the coilovers. But uh, but it sits at that very height, and we take it down off the off the stands. That's the that's the that's the stance it has. And we, I like uh, that's one thing I like about the car is the stance that it has. No, it's yeah. You know, I like the whole thing. I like the colors. I like the way it sits. So, yeah, I don't with you. Is it an original side pipe car? It was a side pipe car. The wow. side pipes are original to the car. 
Uh, the fiberglass is original to the car. That's about all that's original to the car. Uh, one of the popular cars, the only color in 63 that was, a, that was an option color was silver. It was a Cortez silver. And uh, actually, this car was going to be built as a black car, and my wife uh, asked me a favor, said, can we have something that's not black? So I let her pick the color, and this is actually blade silver metallic off of a 2010 ZR1 Corvette. That's that color. So it worked out really good because silver was a special color in 63, right. and, and this blade silver really works well and on this car. It sets up a red. Yeah, no, I love that, man. And then you're running the Z06 wheels. These are the Z06 spider wheels. That's right. right. And... Uh, but we did that to get that get that good modern look. The name right. of the car is Split Personality. Right. So it's uh, it's an old old fiberglass with brand new everything else. That's the way to do so it though, isn't it? Get the kinda, old styling and a new and we handling wanted, and We wanted to keep the look of the old car. We kept the cookie the cookie sheets on the hood. Right. We kept the old side pipes. We could have gone with some custom side pipes. Right. We wanted to keep the the lines. We didn't do any real modifications to the outside of the car other than the fire. The fenders in the back had to be bowed out two inches to get those bigger tires underneath. Right. But you really don't notice that. You can't that. tell that. You can't yeah. tell it. Yeah. So we tried to keep the lines of the car just like a 63 as much as we could and keep it as pure as we could to that 63 look. Right. No, I think you've done a wonderful job. Not like I was Thank chasing you. you down yesterday because <laughs> I knew I wanted to shoot this one for sure. Well, I appreciate that. We're we're really proud of the car. It's it's been around in the family now for almost four years and uh, it's like a part of the family it's, it's like our child so my wife and I are both very proud of it and uh, and we enjoy people talking about it and looking at good. it good for good reason like I said now it's a nice nice car have you been into hot riding long uh, just all my life yeah <laughs> don't know where it came from my dad wasn't a hot rodder uh, I, I got started early 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 when I was in my probably my early teens and and just kind of picked up on it. First car was a 56 Chevrolet, so I'm a Chevrolet guy. Right, I got you. I've, I've been a Chevrolet guy my whole life, and, and this is this has always been one of my bucket list cars was a split window coupe. That's not everybody's. Yeah, we found this car in California uh, back, I guess, uh, about five years ago, and actually bought the car as a donor car and had it shipped to uh, to Jeff in, in Bloomington and started the process of the work. But it, it's gone from a, from a a really basket case to what you see here. I don't know if you can get a shot of this or not, but I can show you kind of where that's where the car came from. So it's uh, it's really <laughs> it was uh, yeah it, it was in, in pretty bad rough, shape, yeah. and we we've done a whole lot of work on the car, as you can tell, and and the car turned out really really specially nice. Yeah. So uh, and this is this is the custom chassis when it was delivered to his shop, and. Uh, this was when the car was going to be black. Right. <laughs> this chassis was going to be silver. Right. My wife changed that, so uh, we, we we actually powder coated the chassis black chrome, which is the color it is now. And a lot of people, a lot of these show cars, you'll see a lot of chrome under the car. We did a lot with powder coating and a lot with with natural metal under, underneath, rather than painting it and and uh, finishing it. And that's right. just that was just kind of kind of my thing. Uh, that's the chassis without the car and uh, without anything on. It. This is the chassis when the motor was starting to be installed so we've got a you know i've got a build book right. for the car all the way through and uh it's, it, so it, you say this chassis is black chrome yeah if you can get a shot of it there i, I can point it out to you this this is the chassis as it runs right, right here right and uh, of course that's a that's the exhaust that comes off the header into the right into the side pipe but uh the complete chassis is powder coated black chrome right now oh, beautiful job brother yeah, really nice job, and the display looks good too. Thank you. I Obviously, appreciate taking that. some time putting that together. Well, and, and it was actually designed by uh, my Bill Cell, my friend here, who's with me. That it helps me with the shows, and and it, it's it's not light, it's not massive. We kept it down away from the car, so you could picture the car, you can look at the car, with, and appreciate the car without having to have all this display. We know we're not in the display business; we're in the car, right, <laughs> in, right, in the car right. showing business. Right. So. We well, like and, to and keep it simple, but get a lot of light on the car right. so you can appreciate the car. And you can put ropes and chains up as high as you want. If people are going to try to climb under there, they're going to sure try to climb out. But you're right. The nice thing about your display is it doesn't get the way of taking pictures. And, you know, some of the chains ones they do, you know. And we've actually won a display award at the World of Wheels. So it, it obviously some people like the way that it looks. It's a bit different than... Uh, some of the others, but but we got it down where it's out of the way. No, it's as clean and as professional looking as the car. It suits it well. Man, that's just a really nice car, Gene. 
Well, I appreciate that. We've uh, we've taken a lot of effort with the car and and keep doing things. The the mirrors you see on the doors were added this year. The the door handles are actually from a company called Ring Brothers, who uh, Ring Brothers has had a had grade eight cars. They've had a, a Riddler cars. They they know what they're doing. And we got these handles from them, and uh, they kind of follow the lines of the back of the car, and uh, so. We put them on the car. So we keep doing little things to the car we think that are enhancements, but if it if it doesn't keep with the kind of the, the, the simplicity of the, of the way the car looks for us, we uh, we don't change it. We're not gonna do a lot of pinstriping and crazy painting and that right, kind of right, stuff. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, that's what I always like when you can do it without all that flash, right? This car has its own special look without us having to do much to it other than just enhance the things that are there, we think, anyway. Right. Man, I just really, really like that car. Gene, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you giving me some time this morning, brother. Thanks, bud. Scott, I appreciate you liking my car, and uh, Scotty, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I've enjoyed visiting with you about it. Cool. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Yep. Folks, there you go. That's Gene's uh, 63 Custom Corvette Split Personality from the uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts World of Wheels 2013 in Birmingham. Hope you all have enjoyed it. That's just one cool Corvette. See ya.